I won't stay alive, yeah My bitch, she so thick, but she look Asian from a tribe Got tattoos on my face, uh, but I still got a job, uh, I didn't got too rich, I know what bitch, I just glide It's John in the middle I just got a long bar in it because I just got it pierced and the swelling. When the swelling go down, short bar so it won't move. I keep talking about this off. That's because I got a long bar in it so it can move because the swelling. And when it go down, it's going to be right there. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. And I know I've been posting crazy, but look, look, I, I seen something on the internet and I was like, okay, I got to talk about this one. I've been, I've been posting some little bit, you know, soft content lately, but this one, me being into jewelry and seeing something like this exotic and this crazy, I had to talk about it. Had to talk about it. Now, if you guys don't know, Lil Uzi, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail and all that, Lil Uzi Vert has placed a diamond in the middle of his forehead. Now, it's not no regular diamond. It's not like a basic just lame diamond it's a gia certified natural 10 to 11 carat 24 million dollar pink diamond crazy right crazy now this diamond was certified by the gia which is the gemological institute of america and they pretty much do all the thorough research for diamonds they tell you you know where your diamond came from if it has any inclusions pretty much all the jewelers use this one grading diamonds basically and if you haven't seen that i made a whole video about grading diamonds you can see it pop up over here over there but i think it's over here and it'll tell you all about diamonds and grading and how to grade a diamond now the crazy thing about this diamond is it's 10 to 11 carats and it's pure now when you have a pure diamond a lot of the times it can have many inclusions and stuff like that but this diamond here it's flawless it's well i don't know if it's flawless actually uh i, I I'm, I'm actually kind of curious because they didn't really say if it was flawless or not but if it is flawless that that, that makes it even more crazy i mean it makes sense because it's 24 million so it's most likely flawless but if it ain't fl was it really worth 24 million dollars like it could be a high carrot just because a carrot's big doesn't mean anything like and you'll learn that if you watch the video but it's 24 million so let's just say it's safe to say that the diamond is flawless now to make this big purchase he did work with his favorite julie Eliante. if you don't know who that is he worked with a couple of other artists he worked with future gunna uh, a lot of you guys do know him most likely from that gunna snake piece if you you know follow jewelry a little bit but he makes a lot of exotic pieces for himself he made uh, i think it was offsets one of them they had like a trap house and inside the house had all the details of people cooking on a stove and all that kind of stuff really great jeweler you know he's really creative now a lot of you may be thinking why didn't he just put in a chain or a ring or maybe even in his mouth or something like that it's too big for that but he answered this question already he said if he were to put it in a ring or a chain and he lost the 24 million dollar dime y'all would just laugh at him so he's like jokes on you ha 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 but my, my my concern is what if you have like one of those quick reflexes where you scratch because you feel something on your forehead and you rip it out your forehead and now you're just leaking and you have a big ass hole you got to get it re-implanted or something like that that that's a concern but i'm curious to see now what other crazy jewelry things he's going to come up with later on in the future but yeah that's pretty much it for this video man i, I really just want to talk about this real quick i hope you guys did enjoy leave your comments down below what you think about this and like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see y'all in the next video peace